Hello and welcome to the video. The foundation stone for the Morton Ray Masonic Temple was laid on the 30th of September 1922. When it was built, it featured among other things a banquet hall, a kitchen with modern appliances, offices and of course the Masonic Temple Room. The lodge was last used in the late 2000s and since then has sat empty becoming a haven for pigeons and fag vexes. The temple is now heritage listed and this is what the VHD has to say about it. The former Morton Ray Masonic Temple at 945 Dandenong Road is of architectural and historical significance at a local level. It is of architectural significance as a substantial and imposing example of the interwar free classical style and as a purpose-built example of an unusual building type. The building is notable for its use of Masonic iconography in its architectural decoration and in its exaggerated use of classical elements. It forms a prominent landmark along this stretch of Dandenong Road on account of its architectural grandeur and nothing. It is an unusual example of the work of Malvern architect Leslie J.W. Reed. The temple is of historical significance for demonstrating the active presence of Freemasonry in Malvern and the surrounding suburbs from the late 19th century onwards. To a lesser extent, it is also of social significance as a focal point for social activities including by members of the wider community outside of Freemasonry. Alterations to the exterior of the building comprise additions to the south side and rear and the construction of a caretaker's house on the east side of the property. These have been undertaken with a high level of regard for the original design. The temple is otherwise highly intact to its original condition. Oh, and in late 2017, work began on converting the temple into a park and so I would assume. Okay, that's enough spieling, let's get into Da Explore! That's the door we attempted to come in in, and as you can see, the floor has been removed, probably because, as Jay said in his video, it was uh, good wood. Where I'm standing right now, I would have been under the floor. I think this room would have been a kitchen. Yeah, because you can see that's where a little stove would have gone. Little tiles there, that's where the stove would have gone. Sink remnants. remnants up there. Please make it easier for the next person. Please stack tables, legs towards the wall. Some remnants up here too. The steering column locks on, because it's all electric steering as well, so. Lovely heroin needle there. Defunct umbrella. Piles of phone books that were meant to get delivered, but they got paid to deliver them, and instead of delivering them, they threw them inside this abandoned building. Fag vexer tube. Up near this door, it's a bit of a a remnant hall temple it's like some weird like chain thing they can get pulled i have no clue maybe there's a bell up here is like a pantry i'd say just like stuff yeah i don't know remnants saucers yeah, it's just like some toilets love the woodwork please 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 do not place hot trays or saucepans on these plastic cutting boards there's another one of those like pull chain things going all the way into the ceiling that's cool through the hole of interest to over here. Some type of air conditioning unit, maybe. That's the outside of the air conditioning unit. Lovely wooden doors. Those are really cool. Switchboard, no clue what that is. Or that, or that. Which just makes it very quite interesting. So where we are right now is actually like a stage. As you can see, like we're under the floor because I said the floorboards are missing. Fluoro tubes still intact up there. You can see the curtains that would have gone across the stage. Check this out. Seriously old Sweps lemonade golden metal bottle cap. Over there is the little aircon room. There's the door of truth. Here is sort of a continuation of the little pantry room. There's like all these little lockers and stuff. Fesbian Mark. <laughs> they would have all had names, but they've removed most of them. A bit of a remnant name there. Still going on. Check out this door here. It's got like a little... Letterbox. Just a normal cupboard, really. Little room here. Nope, just another cupboard. That's cool. This cupboard is like the only place in the whole building with the original flooring. Little remnants here from 1957, 1952. Other inscriptions. That's so cool. What was this? <laughs> Five. Look at that piece, man. All right, pantry room tilt. Now that we're up here, as you can see, it's uh pretty awesome. Toilets. There's more of those locker things. This door onto the stage would have been a sliding door. I'll slot in a little bit of Boston Vloggers footage. Link in the description to his channel um, of this place before it was fully boarded up. I love the windows. They've been boarded up like zombie apocalypse style. There is an exterior shot of the boarded window. There's really cool air vents here. There is an exterior shot of the air vent. Very dark, but the front of the stage has marble pillars. Oh yeah, they're definitely concrete, but they're just painted. Tilt.
So all this stuff you can see now would have been the underneath of the building. Only a few of these pillars remain. They used to hold up the wooden flooring, but our fagbecks have got in here and just kicked them all over, which is sad. There's a little bottle remnant. There is a campfire circle in the middle of the room. It's cool that all the suspended lighting is still in situ. Some other explorers have joined us. Hello, don't be scared. Don't be scared, we're exploring as well. Oh God, they're running away. Okay, see you guys. They're off. They're off. There's some really cool fans up in the wall there. Just gotta get a shot of these fans. I can't. There's the outside of the fans that were on the walls which I couldn't get a shot of. Someone's saying hello to us from the outside. It's so dark in here, but that's a view of the stage. The fagbecks have come back. <laughs> What's going on? Run, run down the alleyway. They came back, but now they're running away again. All right, let's just continue the video. Coming out of the hall into like the main entrance, I love how the doors are just like suspended in midair. So here's an outside shot of the building. The front doors, this is where they come out. Goes upstairs there, shoops, comes around here. And then through these doors to the main sort of hall area. Luckily this glass is still intact. There is a Freemasons logo. A lovely knob here. So you come into the main forum, you see the lovely columns. Mm. Oh yes, I didn't look, look at them. They'd have different names. Wow. Too. The style of column over the centuries, they have different styles. They've all got different names. The style of this column is different. Oh, no. To the style of this column. That almost looks like a little face. There's a door here, let's check it out. Hello, sir. A lot of hooks on the walls here, so I'm guessing this would have just been like a cloak room. People just come in, dump stuff. Seriously awesome windows. Seriously cool. I love the old radiant heater. Vulcan. Very tall ceiling in this room, and the ceiling is quite decrepit. Okay, let's go back into the main hall area. Oh, what's this? Some type of Freemason secrets going on. They're coming back. Hello. Hello. I'm filming a video. Do you guys like mind being filmed or not? No, that's all right. Okay. Have you guys been here before? No. no. I prefer not to be in the back. Um, some type of little side room. I don't know, function room, maybe. I said I told him your channel and once he said, oh yeah, I know him. Oh, that's so cool. VGA driver. Defunct yeah. shoe. Well worn, got the money's worth out of that. Leather soles, that's old. It's pretty self-explanatory, so we're just gonna do a four corners of the room. Ooh, look at this. Four corners showing you the different perspectives. La 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 Through this door here, I have no clue. I reckon this could have been a kitchenette to serve the function room. Probably just cupboards there or something. Just an exit door. At the window, you can see some lovely apartments. Some type of remnant here. What's this? Oh, they're just ancient bags of plaster, that's cool. Sprouters! All right, into this room. Ominous sounds of spray paint cans. A bunch of boxes for motherboards. All right, so what's this room? Looks like another cloak room. It's kind of interesting. Another wonderful old window. Those should have been rescued. Uh, you no, 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 just... Just for us. What? Let's see. What is that? It's like a doorbell. I mean, the doorbell is this cupboard. Pretty modern cupboard compared to the rest of the place. What's this? Oh, it's boring. Don't worry. Just filled with sort of like computer and like camera remnants. Yeah, there's like computer stuff and yeah, camera like stuff all over the floor. Been. What's this? Please put rubbish bin out Tuesday night. I wonder what's through there. That's the outside. Oh, that's outside. It's okay. an outside door. All right, well, cloak room, cupboard. This room, pretty sure it's toilets. This is cool. I think this would have been outside at one point. It's hard to document this room, but yeah, it's got this like little pathway. Maybe it used to be outside. And um, yeah, it's like a really tall room. I don't know, cause it's got that window, so now it probably wasn't outside. This room was sort of technically outside at one point because the function room we explored earlier was a later addition onto the main hall. My point is proven by the remnant painted out windows that can be found on the wall between the function room and the hall. When the function room was built and added on to the main hall, the little void space you're looking at right now was created. So they whacked a window on the wall to sort of make it look like part of the whole building. So technically this would have been outside at one point, not not really. Awesome stained glass window. This one's reasonably intact, which is cool. The black section of the glass isn't actually black, it's yellow and they just painted it black. You can see the big column from the outside, that's inside. Lovely light fixture. A hatch up there, maybe to a secret room. Ooh. Got like these little grease trap sort of cistern things. I don't know why. So there's one there and there's like this little pathway thing. Then there's another one there. It even has water still in it. All right, walk. 
I'll just walk and look at you. Yep. Got Perfect it. shot. All right, in through to the toilets. There's only one cubicle, but there's like urinals aplenty. Look at that urination station. In the toilet is some lovely sun hats. Toilet brush still intact, but unfortunately, I cannot say the same about the window. The traffic whizzes by without even knowing of the history. Lovely louvets. The roof of this place is like crispy. The roof is extremely crispy. There's a picture of you, Bab. Oh, there's still soap. Oh, it's empty. Whoops. Near the sink, is it really cool old? Check out that. That is ancient. Surprises that life survived after everything else in here just been smashed. Ventilation point. Alright, out of this door from the toilet. Stone Masons. Alright, outside of the toilets. Wait, Bab, I noticed there's only males' toilets. Why is this? Because when this club was built and run, it was a male male only club. No women unless a special dance at night was on. And then they probably had to share toilets in. Where the banister was, you can see like the original colour. Ascending the stairs. A lot of pigeon poo. Oh, thirsty. Lovely vent. Look how low this vent is. It's like at my genital regions. Crispy window. <laughs> Been an afterthought, I think, somehow. Downstairs, you've got a one toilet cubicle and a half a three quarters of a lead light window. And at some stage, they've uh, built in a room with a full length window. There's the top of it. Here's like the top of the window we saw in the bottom toilet. Yeah, there's he. Oh, yuck. There's a lot of pigeon poo, but nothing compared to the old army power station we checked out ages ago. I'll pop in a shot. We're upstairs now. Wait, stay now. Go back. Three, two, one, go. We're upstairs. We're just winging it today. This window's been untouched. Unfagbex window. Look at that. Yum. Oh, a full loan Fagbexter tube. You said it, young Fagbexter. All right, so we're upstairs. Oh, it is crispy. I love how the exit sign is just on its side. All right, bit of a pan in this top room, just from the corner. Um, yeah, it's pretty empty, but uh, it's pretty cool at the same time. Poo, a hole in the roof. This is really cool to see. I don't know since I mentioned it in the video, you'll get fag backs, but this is awesome that this window is fully intact. Hello, sir. Doing a bit of urban X, or you're doing a bit of fag backs. Who knows? I'm probably gonna lock in fag backs. We got a casualty. There's like this little podium thing here. I don't know if that's part of the Freemasons. There's like a little balcony. There's heaps of traffic, so I might not go out. But uh, yeah, just balcony. It's pretty sick. Pretty terrible shot, I'm sorry. But... We're out here in the balcony, we're so exposed. Masonic Center. Just got to document this. Lovely graffiti over the Freemasons logos on the window. Let's look down. We gotta go. Just fall to your death here. This wood is like rotten away with a combination of pigeon poo and rainwater. Launch. <laughs> Lovely intact window. Uh, this cupboard probably used to house robes because um, Freemasons have to put on like all these robes and stuff for their ceremonies. So that explains like the crazy amount of hooks in this room. So they would have come up the, those stairs and, um, you know, taking the clothes off and, uh, you know, gotten the special robes and uh, did the ceremonies. No one used to hook up in here, though. Do you get it? Something would have been mounted there. If you have any clue, let me know. I love these light fixtures. Pretty awesome. Oh, I like. Thank you, sir. Underneath the floor reveals a secret room just leads down to this little brick bunker. We're not even in the basement. This is like midway through the building. Mad AFMs right over here though. Light bulb remnant. So many spider webs. You can see under the floor. Just like, yeah, you can see underneath the floor of the temple and stuff. This place is built out of girders. That's pretty cool. There's like a concrete pad thing here with like a little wire thing going up. I don't know, maybe there's some type of machinery in here. There's the trap door that used to hide this room away. What's the brand on that brick? See ya.
into this room. No clue what it is. Lovely light fixture, but pretty much other than that, an empty, boring, pieced room. Are you responsible for the pooings? When editing, I noticed that this room would have once had shelving. All right, come on now. You can see the faint outlines of big columns that would have once been next to that door for the entrance to the temple. Unrobed, I am gonna enter the former temple of the Masonics. In the grand poo bar, so here. Fag backs of choose, posted up in the corner, taking an L. Okay, that one really cut deep, I'm sorry. The little one would be for what I would say, the grand poo bar would sit there and uh, Observe the goings on and uh, the second and third in command would sit beside him. Would there be like other people sitting along sort of the front stage area? Yeah, there's men only. This is a men only area. So yeah. those would have been like the other sort of upper yeah. people up there. There's little vents for underneath the stage. That broken panel would have gone up there on the front of the sort of stage area. There would have been little wall things here that people would have sat behind it on yeah. chairs here. There would have been seats there at one point, I assume. Thirsty milk. Yeah. It's off. Oh. This place used to be so untouched. It would have been so cool back then. Shocking. Some type of nice, uh, ornate little room here. I have absolutely no clue what for there. Some type of curtain remnants. Maybe this was a stage area as well. Do you know? Do you have any clue? Floor point, whatever that means. This whole room would have been nicely like wooden paneledness. It's uh, all been removed now. I tried. I love the ceiling in this room. Since this building is so old, it wouldn't have had air conditioning, so there's like little air vents. On the beams ornate cornicing, it kind of looks like a handshake. Maybe the Freemason's secret handshake? I don't know. All right, you can see that uh, in the middle of the room, the floor has been replaced at some point or patched over. Maybe there's another staircase, probably not. There's the remains of the Christian cross that used to be in this room. Are you dishonoring the temple, Bab? The temple has been dishonored. People are burning candles on the little chairs here. Probably getting like epic shots. Oh, boy's getting up good. Wood. All right, coming out of the temple. That's probably the bell that's attached to the string in the kitchen, which we're about to go test. I think this one's only for the temple or hall. I have no clue, but listen. You can hear a thud upstairs, which so still works. So now we're gonna try to test this one out for the hall. Nothing. What's in there? A chunk. So just check that the main sort of center now little house probably where the caretaker lived or the grand master all right house in the back it's been burnt out would this be like the grand poobah's house yeah it'd be our caretaker it. burnt out nice people let's pretend we didn't see them classic like 1950s living room burnt out mattress lovely drug den here, Maccas feasting zone. Two signs of a fag back to hang out. Maccas rubbish and durries. Seriously festive. You can see. You can see the level that the smoke got to in the room. Lovely corner thing. I know some type of, it's like a sticker of a bird. Bonjour. A sooty piece. Tomato sauce. Deodorant. A printer for some reason. And a book for Monash University. There's something in the balcony too. Just gonna do this house quickly. There's a bathroom there. Actually, I apologize, it is a shower room. Quite literally, because there's a hole in the ceiling and there's leaves everywhere. Some type of bedroom, probably. I love how the paint has just bubbled away. Just dropping here. So vintage. New world. <laughs> the Grand Poo Bar was definitely not hygienic. Look at that. I'm looking for someone to take control of this disgusting, embarrassing mess. It's still full. Yeah, spare lamp. As he. Azzy, Azzy, Azzy. What's this? Some type of documentation there. It's like a cooker thing. 
It's still food. <laughs> Empty. It's Empty. This totally could have just been rented out to someone. This is stupid. This is cool. It's like a little sort of like venti cupboard. Oh, is that the curry powder you spilt everywhere? Oh, so yeah, kitchen featuring bab. Mm. Oh, look at that bin. Oh, this was once a bag of potatoes. Look at them. I asked for a potato, not a prune. That is crazy. Shriveled up. For their, I could trade things for their door. They used Woolworths uh, mushroom bags. Oh. It's so weird, but cool. Coming through the mushroom door. Remnants of a laundry. The toilet door is festooned in very old newspapers. I mean magazines. Oh, this is sick, Dad. It's just filled with pictures of like models. Yeah, even stuff. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I don't know whether to be concerned or think this is interesting. Well, they're not naked. You can see they're all missing here. And we got demonetized. On the back of the toilet door, there's even more pictures. This is seriously the coolest find, it's the weirdest find I've seen in a long time. Oh, bin. I love the curtains. We've got a mystery pot. Get ready. I'm Get not ready. ready. My body is not ready. Ooh, abdominals. All right, coming out. All right, so right there is apartments, but this is the backyard and there's the Masonic Center right there. It's like a sink. All right, sneakily. There's like the side of the house. I'm so scared. There's like a tilt in the Masonic Center. The house next door. There's people looking at me. Do I come back in or just? Yeah, come in. All right, coming back in because we've just been spotted. We'll have to finish this up really quickly. Probably used to be a bedroom. It's completely inaccessible now and we've been spotted. Crispy door. All right, we've got to get out of here now. Doormat's still here, that's funny. Got to jump out. I love the soot coming out of the living room windows. Burnt out remnants of awnings. I think there's a little shed for this house. <laughs> Just like a little area, you know how it is. Just like a collapsed shed. Really don't care. Sprouters, sprouters. Seriously cool place though. There would have been a gate there at one point. What are you looking at? There's ants all over your hand. Yeah. There's just like an ant's nest. They're like the little eggs. Those are like the yeah. colonizers. Put them back. There's a little MR. Does anyone know what that is? It stands for Morton Ray. You can see that the ornate windows on the outside, they got these protective sort of glass layer. Check out this really old 1920s light fixture. Little alley next to it. We thought this wasn't part of it, but look. Remnant. Private property, large parking only. I feel like at one point the Freemasons owned that whole corner, but it's now another building. <laughs> Bab unfortunately took something. I'm recycling. I'm gonna give it a crack, might as well. Um, and uh, we'll see how we do. Okay, so we're back at the Masonic Temple. It is now 2018, as you can see, it is under restoration, sort of. I don't know. They've demolished a fair whack of the building, but they're keeping the sort of main hall area and the facade of the function room. They're adding little pillar things here, little foundation things. I think that's because the soil is super sandy, so when they build the apartments, it doesn't like collapse. As you can see in that previous shot that they've added sort of structural integrity to that front facade. And we're looking at side now. We've got Ali Law and his high vis in there doing an in and out challenge. That's pretty cool, it's actually a worker. Um, you can see where the stairs used to be. They've stripped out the whole inside and there's no, yeah, it's just completely empty inside now. And uh, there's a pseudo trendy arty shot of the window that went horribly wrong. There's a backside view and you can see here, we have still got the little wires that used to control the bell remaining there. And here's like, that little thing me bob where the cutting boards used to go and here's some details about the sides here's a wonderful tilt of the hall which is built in 1922 and here's the front on sort of down and road side and we've got like more of the actual construction huts here and the signage to go with it um there you go i'm pretty sure the building apartments i'm not too sure they could be building something else. I did look up this project and I couldn't find any information about it, but all I know is it is getting restored. As you can see, the front door is missing and they've got heaps of stuff going on in there. And they've boarded up the windows. I think they've taken the stained glass out to restore it. And you can see there's one of the doors looming behind the side office. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's sort of the end of this spiel now. But yeah, it's really good to see they're fixing it up. It sucks they demolished some of it and that the house is completely gone now. But it's good to see they're at least keeping some of the historic structure. Thanks for watching and uh, don't be a favorite. So do not vandalize buildings. Yeah. <laughs> I like.